So it's that time of year when the soldier beetles are mating. And since they can multitask, what you have here is actually a male on the female. And the female's not even done, you know, she was going to continue to feed on the sterile wart um, while the male's there. Um, while they are pollinators, minor pollinators, they're actually eating the pollen as they go. So um, kind of a multi-purpose type of thing, but they do cause some pollination. They think that some of these colors that they have on them, the reason they're called soldier beetles is because some people associated them with some of the old time uniforms that for various soldiers' armies, especially some of the more colorful ones, European, um, the European uh, soldier beetles. But again, these are some pretty neat ones. This one might be a margined uh, leather wing beetle, but, um, but anyways, uh, it is a neat little, little creature, and we see these a lot in the fall, especially on golden rods and thoroughwood. So here's more of those soldier beetles mating, but wow, there's one there, there's a pair there, there's a pair over here, there seems to be a pair all over. Look at these right over here. Here is a lonely one that wasn't able to find a mate, just flew on off. Um, so yeah, multi multitasking. In this case, they're already getting ready to go to sleep, sleeping right on their food source to stir a wart, but continuing to mate. And that way, the male assures that nobody, nobody else can mate with her except him. And you can see there's quite a few of them. Some of these are uh, get are mimics of other things, but most of them just as bright colors warn that they don't taste so hot.